So I'm currently barefaced because I'm about to go and get my personal color analysis done here in Korea. I am equal parts nervous and excited. This is something I've seen all over my For You page for the last year and a half to two years with all the different filters. And sometimes I feel like I can easily tell what someone else is, but then when I try and do it on myself, I have no idea what is happening. So before we head off, this is our last chance. Leave your predictions. What color do you think I'll be assigned? I kind of go back and forward, but I'm leaning towards light summer. But then I'm like, I have green eyes, so I don't know if that really works. I I, I don't know. I definitely do need the help, don't I? <laughs> so after some research, I narrowed it down to three potential color analysis studios, all of which had great reviews and also offer English sessions. Honestly, you could probably go to any of them. I decided to go with Color Wings just from personal preference. The TikToks I saw, she seemed to have a very calming vibe, which is something I look out for considering I have social anxiety. Her studio was in the Mapu area, super easy to get to, also super easy to book. She has instructions on her Instagram account, but pretty much you just contact her through Kakao Talk and she'll send you all the details you need. Also very foreigner friendly that you didn't have to make a deposit beforehand and instead is just paying in cash upon arrival which it was 110,000 won. Before getting into the swatching process she gets you to complete a bit of a self-analysis which is really interesting to be able to come back and compare it to once you have your final results. I had to highlight out of these four color palettes which one I felt like I wore the most and I went for this kind of muted pastels one. If we have a look at some of my Instagram photos Photos, there's a lot of pastel including these baby pinks blues mints but there's also some brighter purples grays blacks and I love a good pop of red even if we take that into consideration and I mark the colors off individually this color palette still came out on top I also marked the colors I prefer to wear when it comes to makeup and another interesting one was actually circling the words that you felt best described your style I would have loved to have seen what someone else would have circled for me because I feel like I'm bad at this sort of self-reflection but this is what I ended up going with and funnily enough none of which corresponded with the color palette I previously chose. The only other info she has to jot down before getting started is I guess like your key characteristics, your natural hair color, eye color and also determining your skin tone. So we're getting into the fabric draping now. We start out quite simple just trying to determine whether I am warm or cool tone and then we'll further break it down into the more niche groups as we go along until we have my best and worst colors. Mm -hmm. oh, Mm. But I think you look good in between this and this. Yeah. Uh, such as champagne gold makes your skin more even. Mm. But we just take only warm and cool. Mm. But look in your chin. Actually, these kind of colors makes your chin mm. more brighter. Mm. So your cheek and chin more even. Yeah. But look in your chin. These kind of colors makes your spot a little bit green. Yeah. yeah. So I think cool or warm is better. Mm. But warm makes your forehead more reddish. Mm. Look at your forehead. Mm -hmm. This kind of color, there's yeah. no reddish part. Yeah. But this kind of color, a little bit dark and a little bit reddish. Yeah. So I think you're good in between this and this. <laughs> okay. so. But uh, uh, yellow, more even. Mm. Oh, it's okay too, but a little bit grayish. This is for a cool base. Mm. Cool tone. And then, warm tone. Mm. Which one better, you think? Cool. Mm. Warm. I think the oh. cool one makes my under yeah, eyes darker. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Look at your eyes. This kind of colors makes eye a little bit bluish. Mm. And you are around your lip more bluish too. Mm. But this kind of color oh, more yellowish, so you yeah. still more even. Yeah. But I think to uh, medium chroma, this is the lower chroma. Mm. But I think. Uh, Look at your cheek. This kind of colors makes your cheek more reddish. Mm. This kind of color uh, more even. Mm. So I feel low chroma look better. Yeah. Mm. But we just check only warm and cool. Mm. But you look good in warm tone color. Better mm. than the cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's find your season and the type. Okay. Okay. As I said, orange is the only warm tone color. Yeah. So this is two warm colors. This is warm. And this is cool. Mm. Mm. Look at your lip. Upper lip. Actually, warm tone makes your lip more reddish. Mm. So you look more healthy. Mm. But cool tone makes your lip a little bit purple. Yeah. Yeah. And your neck is more greenish too. Yeah. Uh, so orange look better mm -hmm. rather than the pink. Mm. More warm or little warm. Which one look better? More 
<laughs> too hard. Too hard. <laughs> Look at your cheek. Actually, these colors make your cheek more yellow and dark. Mm. But this kind of color, a little bit light. Light. Yeah. So your skin look more glossy. Mm. You look good in orange, but too warm colors makes your skin darker. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so a little warm mm -hmm. or a little light one makes your skin even. Yeah. <laughs> this is too warm color. Let's compare opposite. Too cool. This is too cool. Mm. You oh, <laughs> look more pale. Yeah. So please avoid the uh, purple color in yeah. your top. This is the warm medium. Let's compare it to warm lower medium. Mm. Lower medium. Lower. Look in mm. your neck. Actually, medium makes uh, this part more darker. Mm. So your face and neck not connected. Mm. But lower chroma makes uh, this part mm. bright. So your face and neck more even. I think you look good in low chroma mm. rather than the high, mm. medium one. This is the lower. Let's compare to more lower. Okay. Uh -huh. More lower. Lower. More lower. Oh. Close to white mm. makes your skin glossy mm. and makes your skin more reddish. And let's compare warm to mixed gray. Uh, mixed white. Mm. Gray. White. Yeah, yeah, a little brighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Light colors make the skin even. Mm. You look good in mixed white mm -hmm. rather than the mixed gray. One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the mixed gray, that color called autumn mute. Okay. okay. Let's compare warm to mixed black. Black. Gray. Oh, which one is better, you think? Mm. Oh, too hard? <laughs> oh. Uh, I think uh, gray is better mm. because look at your chin. Two darkness colors makes your chin mm. more short. Mm. Oh, your, your chin more short, so this part look more longer. Mm. But look at your chin. Mixed gray colors makes your chin more a little bit longer mm. rather than the blackish. So your chin more sharper. Yeah. Oh, so I think you should wear the light color rather than the black color. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, this one is the whole spring light color. Mm -hmm. Let's find best of the best color. Yeah. Okay. So even though we've already determined that spring light is my best color palette, we still go through a bunch more swatches that fall under that category to see what my ultimate best colors are. In the end, she decided on melon and banana milk, which I thought was ironic because just recently in a video, I mentioned how difficult I find it to style yellow. Actually, just yellow in general is really tricky to style. Really tricky to style. So I think that one's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for me, but there were still other colors that she suggested, such as cherry blossom, and peach. Pretty much just warm tones that have been mixed with a lot of white to make them a lower chroma. She said a good way to remember it is kind of as macaroon or ice cream colors, which honestly made me feel a little bit better about my results because that's the sort of cutesy color palette I could see myself enjoying still. When it came to my second best color palette, she selected Autumn Mute, which honestly I was having a bit of a harder time distinguishing. I did agree that I liked the greens. Um, I actually also kind of liked this blue shade that didn't end up making the cut but some of the ones I was struggling with the most were these orange and mustardy sort of shades I felt like I could definitely see that they made my skin tone more even like you could see my blemishes less but I also felt like it made me look too yellow to the point where it looked kind of off but I must say she did an amazing job at explaining things throughout the entire process. If there was anything I seemed a little bit confused on, I felt like she really broke it down and didn't move on until I could see what she was talking about. And I really like that she explained that sometimes it's not necessarily better or worse, but it could just depend on the situation. Orange or red, which color look better? Red, orange, red. Mm. Mm. I think uh, these two, it's okay too, but yeah. uh, these colors make the skin a little bit dark mm. rather than this. Yeah. But this one makes the face shade more sharper. Yeah. Uh -huh. But this kind of colors makes the skin lighter rather than red, mm. but look more wider. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to uh, look more cute mm. or pretty, I recommend the orange mm. one. But if you want to look more feminine or look more professional, I mm. recommend the red one. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. Let's find your worst type color. Okay. Totally opposite. <laughs> Put on mixed black color, such as this one. Mm. With a dark color. Mm. So if you wear like this, this kind of color with this, black with too dark mm. color, oh, makes sure this part too dark, and I more dark too. Mm. And this part more dark too. Yeah. Oh. Look at your lip. Actually, these colors make the lip more dark too. Mm. Look at your lip. This kind of color oh, 
Yeah. 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 But anyway, once we were done with the fabric swatches, we moved back over to the workbook where she gave me some paint swatches instead. That way I can use them for future reference of my best and worst colors. She also just reiterated what we'd kind of already spoken about in terms of chroma and saturation that best suits me. And then when we flipped over the page, I wasn't actually expecting to have so many other details be included, which by the way, this was all corresponding with a PowerPoint presentation. So she kind of took me through some outfit examples. So some things she said I might want to look out for all kind of revolved around keeping the look very soft. For example, fabrics, you don't want anything too heavy and also things that have a high shine or gloss would suit me best. So things like silks and satins. Also keeping a low contrast throughout the entire outfit. For example, if you go for a really light top, it might be too harsh to go for a black bottom. So some neutrals I might want to look at playing around with are things like white, oatmeal, ivory, cream, and light beige. When it comes to hues to look out for, red, orange, yellow, and green are my best options. And she even included pattern choices as well, specifically if you're wearing it on the top half though, things like florals and polka dots, just things that have more of a curved edge. The jewelry recommendations is where you're going to have a very hard time converting me. You guys know I love my over-the-top chunky silver accessories, and she pretty much recommended the exact opposite. <laughs> She also included hair recommendations, which is what I was looking forward to the most because I'm always so nervous about dyeing my hair, but thankfully she actually thought the color I had worked well. I think uh, your bleach hair is the, it's good on you. It's yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a cooler color. Mm. Mm. And then I'm not recommending you too dark hair mm. uh, because you're a good mixed white. Light. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then your natural hair is a little bit light. Mm. So I recommend two dark colors next in my page. Yeah. When it comes to bleach sticking to this kind of coral color I have or beige, and orange are the best options. If I needed to go something a little bit darker, she would recommend warm, golden, and orange browns. She said it would actually be best if I worked more with my natural kind of wavy texture. Curly, voluminous hair would be more flattering rather than straightening it, which I am actively trying to take on board. We also covered some makeup advice where she recommended sticking to lighter, more natural looks rather than going for anything too heavy, particularly on the eye. Orange and pinky corals are preferred and definitely brown eye liner over black. She also suggested keeping the skin dewy rather than matte as well as glossy lips and also playing around with some glitter on the eye. And if you bring your makeup bag with you, she will actually go through and swatch everything and tell you what will work well and what things you might want to look at replacing. Thankfully, pretty much all of my items were already on track. Other than the lip products, I definitely go more cool tone with those. And the reason for that is whenever I try and do the more coral colors, I feel like it makes my teeth look too yellow. So unless I get my teeth widened, I think I I'm just going to stick to the more neutral shades on that. She gave me these business card size swatches, which is really handy. You can put them in your wallet and that way, whenever you're out shopping and you kind of need a refresher on what colors you're looking for, you can just whip this out, which is exactly what I did when I headed over to Olive Young after I finished this session. And within about half an hour of leaving, she also sent through an entire list of product recommendations as well, which was so helpful. And it was great that she included all different brands of various price ranges as well. I really enjoyed enjoyed my experience and would definitely recommend Color Wings to anyone who was interested in this sort of service and is going to Korea. But I also understand why some people aren't so into the color analysis ideology in general. Even myself, I hope you guys know me well enough by now to know that I'm not into following any sort of fashion rules and even getting these recommendations, I'm still not going to let it stop me from wearing the colors that I love and things that I already own. At the end of the day, I love to experiment with style and that's never going to change. I'm not going to be second guessing what colors I'm wearing. If if anything, it's probably made me even more open-minded to try out these colors that I've kind of deemed as boring and try and make them fit my own personal style. And if nothing else, I hope this was at least an entertaining video for you and hopefully I see you again really, really soon. Bye!